I'm going to be showing how you can make a web application using Google Apps Scripts. So what is Google Apps Scripts? It's a JavaScript framework that Google has made to automate just G Suite related tasks, or if you want to grab particular data from your G Suite. So things like Gmail, G Drive, Google Docs, any of that good stuff. So for this video, I'm gonna be showing two files. Before I show them, I just wanna give some overview. The code.js is for, the GS is Google Script, and that's that JavaScript dialect that I'm talking about. The other is just an index.html, just basic HTML where I'm gonna be putting some elements to press, and then we're gonna use the code.js to retrieve them. You can go to the link in the description below to follow along. When you first pop onto the page, the first thing I would suggest is to go into this section here that lists all the functions. What the functions are are based on what's in the code. So the functions list is just reading through this code file of code.js, the .google script, and it's just looking for the functions and you can select a function and run it. So here you'll see I've successfully started and completed a function this will come through when we actually need to run the JavaScript in our index.html, which I have here. For the index.html, this is just your normal HTML file, but down here past all my CSS is the actual HTML. And here you'll see that I have on clicks for the functions described in the JavaScript in the code.js. Now that we have the file set, we can go over and deploy and we'll do a new deployment. We can go over here, give it a description, YouTube demo, make it to open to anybody, and deploy. Now that it's done deploying, we can go over to the URL, and now you'll see my little web app, and this is the HTML, and so we can do things like list emails, we can list files in my Google Drive. So you see here, these are some files and we can create and populate a spreadsheet. So you'll see we created a spreadsheet. Let's go over to Google Sheets and see. Yep, monkey library. This is just a random name that I made in the script, but yeah, that's pretty cool. It's a really easy way to get started with just building little web apps. The only thing is you can't add your own CSS files or any of that other stuff. So this is pretty much just meant for bare minimum, but it is a cool automation tool in general.